Hi and welcome to the new to Microsoft 365 channel. My name is Cami and I was a Microsoft 365 engineer for two years and currently a Microsoft 365 consultant. The funny thing was I was actually going to take the SC400 exam probably late February and now Microsoft has just, you know, decided to change course and retire the exam in May, May 2025 and replace it with the SC401, which is a new exam, a new certification that Microsoft has brought out, which is the Information Security Administrator. So let's check out what that is all about. As always, like the video, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I know that I've done a video before, you know, talking about the SE400 if you wanted to get into Microsoft uh, compliance and all things purview. Hopefully this exam is still mainly purview, which then would mean if you still want to get into Microsoft compliance, this new exam would be the exam for you. So pretty much I was going through LinkedIn and I saw a blog post from Microsoft Learn talking about, you know, the SC400 being retired and it being replaced with the SE401. So let's check that out. So as we can see here, it's coming soon. Let's scroll down a little bit and gain some more information. I think it would be better if I actually zoom in. Uh, there we go. Right, so it looks like it's talking a little bit more about, you know, the cybersecurity landscape, as well as the growth of AI. They have spoken to, you know, people who do work with Microsoft compliance, who do work with Microsoft security. And I believe this is the reason why they've decided to change and, and basically bring out this new certification that encompasses you know information you know security oh yeah that's what i surmise from from this so let's check out some more stuff so the main three things is going to look at in terms of this certification and questions that you're going to be asked on is on implementing information protection so again normal stuff sensitivity labels all that type of stuff right and then we've got implementing data loss prevention and retention you know your data life cycle type stuff and you've got managing risk alerts and activities so i'm guessing that's going to be stuff around audits you know monitoring tools that you can use within purview so right so they're saying here that is going to be retiring on may the 31st 2025 so pretty much as we roll over into june that exam will no longer exist from my experience of having the ms500 i believe that this exam if you've already done it before and you've just renewed it within this time period you will still have this exam as an active exam within the certification dashboard for a year and then after that it will you know you won't have that that certification anymore okay so this is good uh, a good question actually so what if you are studying for the se 400 which is exactly me they are saying you know if you're preparing to, to to pass it that they recommend to start actually doing the preparing for the sc400 exam and taking that instead rather than the sc400 which i think is probably for the best because you know the sc400 is going to go away i'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff that was in the sc400 will map over to the sc401 not only that i don't have to pay for two different exams so that's also a win. And it says here, if you've already earned information protection and compliance administrator, which the SE400, what happens now? As I just said, it would stay in your transcript on your Microsoft Learn profile underneath, you know, the certification dashboard. And as it says here, if you need to renew this exam, they strongly recommend that you actually do renew it before May the 31st. And then you at least have it, you know, for a year before it completely goes away right and then i think they've got some other stuff to do with you know applied skills so stuff to do with oh that's another thing i forgot about so e, yeah e-discoveries content search all that type of stuff are probably going to be part of the exam as well so implementing retention e-discovery and communication compliance and then uh, there's another applied skill for implementing information protection and data loss prevention using microsoft purview uh, these two, I think, would be good practice 
um, to do in terms of getting you ready for for the SE 401 especially if you do not have like a demo tenant or if you do not have a developer tenant somewhere where you can practice around I would say learn the content for these two and actually get these done right so on the SE 401 exam page so at the moment it's going to be in beta um, but not exactly now it will be in beta on february the 11th so you'll be able to take the exam from then again it's the same price as before pretty standard stuff and then currently you do not have any learning paths or modules yet however what i'll say is the sc 400 learning path should be good enough of course there's going to be a little caveats here and there Oh, and if you were looking to look into the study guide for the SE401, I would say to review the study guide. And just for reference, I'm on the page for the SE400, right? And these are the different skills measured. So it'll be implementing information protection, sensitivity labels, pretty much interchangeable, uh, implementing data loss prevention or DLP, implementing data lifecycle and records management. I don't know if records management is going to be a part of the new certification but yeah monitoring and investigating data activities using microsoft purview and manage insider and privacy risk in microsoft 365 and with the new certification it is basically the stuff that i spoke about before now some of the things that are going to be a little bit different is they are focusing a little bit more on making it clear that we should be familiar with as you can see here powershell microsoft entra the Microsoft Defender portal and Microsoft Defender for Cloud apps. So definitely make sure that you study up on each of these topics and be prepared to get some questions on them. So I thought I'd open up my tenant right here, right? And these are, yeah, pretty much all the things that I would look into. So if I go and view all the solutions, we've got your core stuff to do with your audits, compliance alerts and settings. Then you've got your risk and compliance. If you do have a demo tenant or you know a trial license, a developer account, I highly would recommend you know going through the purview portal and just you know configuring a few of these different things on here so that you just get a very good understanding of Microsoft Purview and Microsoft Compliance just in general and how to do information security as Microsoft is talking about. I'll say the new kid on the block is, you know, the DSPM for AI. I haven't myself played around with this, but it's going to be something that is going to come up in the exam as they, they've said in, you know, the blog article. So definitely if you can play around with, you know, the data security posture management for AI. But yeah, that was just a quick overview on, you know, the latest updates in Microsoft certifications. If you are looking to become a Microsoft 365 engineer or Microsoft administrator, I do have a video up on the MS 900 certification and how I passed that. So yeah, please definitely check that out. Again, thanks for watching my video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below, like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.